With the Escarpment Rail Trail and Stone Church Road videos finally under our belt, there is an important road that connects the two in East Hamilton. That road is Arbor Road. We are also going to be talking about Mount Albion Trail. Let's get cycling. We begin coming off of Mountain Brow Boulevard, and immediately to the right is Albion Falls Park parking lot, which connects you to the Escarpment Rail Trail. Arbor Road is fairly short on this side of the Lincoln Alexander Parkway. There is a single driveway, and immediately after that, it becomes a pedestrian and cyclist-only route. And this is where it gets a lot of its points. This is about a six-degree indecline, but it does connect a couple neighborhoods. It connects you to various major trail systems, and it connects you to Stern Church Road, which has dedicated cycling lanes. So this receives a 95%. Off to the left, there is a path that leads you to the Red Hill Trail system. And up ahead, we have the bridge that carries you over the Lincoln Alexander Parkway. Some people might find this bridge uh, to be, you know, a little intimidating. Uh, some bridges can be intimidating for people. So there is the option to take Pritchard, but I don't like Pritchard just because it's narrow and you have the cars zipping by. On this side, Arbor begins again, but there is still the trail that continues along. So you don't have to actually ride on Arbor Road. You can continue riding on this trail. Up ahead, we have Stone Church. Beyond Stone Church, Arbor Road becomes Anchor Road. And we're not actually going to be going to Anchor Road. No, we are actually going to go to the Mount Albion Trail. So we are crossing the road and there is this trail on the side. It has uh, recently been put in, and it brings people from the Escarpment Rail Trail all the way to the Chippewa Trail. But not too long after you join, there is also this connection that brings you to the Mount Albion Trail. Now, Mount Albion Trail doesn't really take you anywhere, but it is a nice place to just bike around. There is a, a steep section uh, once we get to Anchor, oh, watch out for the Chihuahuas. Uh, most people, uh, their dogs stay out of the way. Chihuahuas, they'll go after your tires. Uh, so be careful of little dogs. They are brave. Um, but yeah, this, this trail system is nice. It doesn't really lead you anywhere, but it's nice to cycle. Uh, there is that steep section that will be coming up. And so this also gets a 95%. It just... Worked out that way. I believe Stone Church was 95 as well. So that's uh, three routes in a row that are 95%. But yeah, this is very nice. There's a, a dip down and a dip back up. But uh, it's quite easy to get over that dip. Because you have the downward momentum on both sides going either direction. So... We are also going to be seeing that trail that connected to Arbor Road, and it goes to the Red Hill Trail System. So once we get to Pritchard, which is where this trail ends, we will get to see what that trail looks like. It's not shown on Google Maps. So some people may not even be able to see it. They may not even know it exists. Here we are at Anchor. And here's the steep section. It's really short, but it's quite steep. And, uh, yeah, struggling to get up, even with uh, an electric bike. Bunch of uh, concrete curb stops just littered around. We could be using those on, on the roads uh, to protect cyclists on the roads. But no, they're littered here for some reason. So continuing on, we're approaching Pritchard, and I'll actually be turning right onto Pritchard. But when we come back, I'll be traveling on Pritchard the opposite direction. Originally, I was going to include Pritchard in this video, but it's really not that good of a street. 
Uh, I I would say avoid it, especially south of Highland Road. And here we are, heading down Pritchard. So, Pritchard, if you go, I was going south on Pritchard, you go north on Pritchard, you end up at Mountain Boulevard, and right near the parking lot for the Red Hill Trails, there's this path, and it's it's fairly new. It doesn't show up on Google Maps, and it's a good alternative to if you are coming up Mountain Brow and you want to avoid the uh, the hill that like a lot of cars zip up and down it. Uh, this is a good bypass for that. Uh, alternatively, I am avoiding that hill, going down and connecting to Mountain Boulevard by taking this route. And I don't know what this trail's called. I don't know if it has a name. I don't know if it's technically part of Arbor Road. Maybe it's technically uh, Pritchard. It doesn't have a name as far as I know. Uh, there is some plaques on the side. Perhaps I should have stopped and looked at them, but uh, when you're cycling along, you don't always have time to look at the plaques. Even if you're walking along, sometimes you don't have time to look at the plaques. Uh, but yeah, it's a nice little trail. It connects you to Arbor Road just before the bridge on the north side of the link. And it is definitely a good alternative uh, to get to the Red Hill Trails from the Escarpment Rail Trail. So just take the Escarpment Rail Trail, Go up Arbor, turn left onto this trail, and it will lead you to the parking lot. That being said, I do not recommend cycling down the uh, the Red Hill Trail. There's a lot of hazards. There's steep sections. I had mentioned it in the Stone Church video, but um, yeah, it's it's meant more for pedestrians, I think. And a good alternative to get down the escarpment in this area would actually be Mount Albion Road, which we will be doing a video on shortly. Anyways, that is it for this video. Take care.